Good morning. Uh, yeah, it's Sunday. I know the vlogs are two days behind, so I think I'm gonna try to, maybe today, work on the one from yesterday and upload them both so I get back on schedule. But it's just the way the, the trip started and everything that didn't end up happening. I didn't end up uploading it until two days after. Anyways, today I'm gonna be beginning something pretty exciting. Well, I shouldn't say exciting because I don't really get excited about things, or especially when they're about to happen. I don't, it's weird to explain, but basically I get excited about the possibility of things happening. Once that event actually happens, the excitement goes away. Um, basically like, basically once that event happens, I'm thinking, what's next? Like, what do I have to do to reach the next step or the next level? So, you know, when something really awesome happens, like, you know, I'm featured in a magazine or I have a talk or something like that, it doesn't excite me anymore. Once it's happened, it's, it's over and on to the next thing. And that's kind of the way I look at everything. But back to what's going on today. My friend's really been pushing me to get prints of my photos done and he's actually spoken to a store and they will be putting some of my photos in there and that I've always considered photography a hobby um, I know I post on Instagram I've, I've been doing photography for a very long time but I never really committed to doing it uh, in the way that I have in the last couple of months so uh, the fact that I'm actually going to be in a store where I can sell them, well that's pretty amazing. So today I'm going to be picking some of my photos and getting prints made, which is a uh, something new that I haven't done. I've, I've had some friends get prints made and things like that, and I'm going to try to start selling them, um, among many other projects that I have. So I'm, I'm not considering photography professional by any means, not at this point still just a hobby for me but we'll see how it, the sales go and we'll see what what happens and uh yeah so what's next Someone lost an earring. So I've been, uh, I make some, sometimes I make rings that I sell. It's just for fun, but uh, I'm going to this garage sale, house sale, I don't know. Some woman down the street from where I live. She might have some tools that are of use to me. So I'm gonna go check that out right now. I ordered the prints, but I just did it online. I didn't have to go anywhere, so it wasn't wasn't that extravagant. Maybe I'll get to pick them up later today. Maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure.
super nice woman. Had exactly what I was looking for. And she just gave it to me for free. Pretty cool. I'll show you what I'm doing. On top of uh, all the other things I do, which I haven't really gotten to yet, I also am a designer, graphics, CAD work, I don't know, automotive, anything to do with anything really. If you need something designed, I can do it. This little box. I made for quadcopters, 3D printed, but why did I need this jewelry polishing stuff? Well, I made this ring, and it's the Spectre ring from the new James Bond movie, and I sell them, so they have these lines in them, from the th they're 3D printed, well, they're wax, 3D printed wax and then lost wax silver to get this. And they've got a bit of resolution lines in them, so I'm going to try to polish those out. That's why I need the stuff. But yeah, it's one of the things I do. So hopefully that'll work. I'm going to give it a shot. This turned out so well. These discs are awesome. So I sold this to someone on Etsy. And I'm going to order some more. Hopefully sell more. Just remember, you have to do something. Might be enough. Still good. Jesus. Oh, so close. Uh, it's good enough. So, what am I doing? Well, you remember yesterday, I was making my own chocolate. Well, today, it's time to make some ice cream. It's really easy. find I use this thing for everything. Now have about 30 minutes. So let's go shoot a time lapse. This is like a lookout in my town, and hopefully some cool sky behind there. But I'm not really zoomed in close enough, so we'll see.
Nice little ride. This bag's pretty sweet. Worst thing about it, this right here. Because everyone goes, what does this do? And that happens. Only a few times. Alright, that's it for the weekend. So I ordered my prints from Costco and they sent me an email saying they're ready. They sent that email at 6 and the store closes at 5. So that was awesome. First thing tomorrow, getting those. Um, second thing, I mailed that ring after polishing it, which turned out really good. So I like that, that's for sure. And uh, back to a regular week of figuring out what to work on because that's what I do. Several projects need to schedule better for sure. So Sunday's over and I think I'm going to try to finish this vlog tonight so I can upload it tomorrow and then they'll be on schedule because right now I'm a day behind. Right now I am I just uploaded Saturdays, uh, which is kind of on time, but it's like 12 hours late. I want them to be there the morning after the day that I film them, so that they makes more sense. And then I don't do things like, say, yesterday for a vlog that was actually two days ago, because I'd like to keep some kind of continuity. I don't know. It's just what I want to do. I'm going to see if that works. Might be too much pressure. Who knows? Maybe it'll be less pressure because I have more time. So I'm going to try to finish another vlog tonight because I just finished the one. And then I'm going to upload this one maybe. Or maybe I'll upload it in the morning but I'll finish it tonight. Yeah. That's a lot of information. A lot of unnecessary information. Okay. So hopefully my prints will be sweet tomorrow. And I'll maybe find some frames for them because that's the next step. And... Yeah. Be good. See you then.